Hi there, so in this video I will uh, simply show you how can I create a, a mobile app on Apache Cordova in order to uh, fetch a web page on which I'm making um, an HTTP request which is then making a request to a PHP file in order to extract the data that you can see here uh, for my um, digital device. So let's get started. Uh, in fact, the first uh, thing that you need to do is that, uh, of course, you need to install Apache uh, Cordova. I'm not going to develop that much about how to install Apache Cordova because there is already a course, full course, explaining how to do it. Uh, and then what I need to do is that I need to create uh, a project. Okay, so I'm just going to create a fake project here. But in order to create a project in Apache Cordova, uh, you just need to um, uh, so okay, um, I want to call Cordova. I want to create something. Here you get the name of your of your project, so I can call it whatever I want, like um, time alert if I want. And then here you give uh, the name of the domain name which will be attached to it. So this one is kind of fake, so you can put uh, whatever you want here. I'm just gonna put time. And here it doesn't really matter. It's in fact the um, um, screen title uh, which will be taken so I can just leave time if I want okay and if you press enter you will get in fact the creation of your new Cordova project so if uh, you look within so in my case I named it uh, time alert okay Oops. time alert um, and you see you have a, a dub 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 folder and it's exactly like uh, if you had a local uh, local server so if you just go within it uh, you will see that uh, there is an index.html file so basically for this basic html file uh, you just need to change the content in order uh, to make it work so let's say creating a mobile app on apache cordova it's exactly like running a website it's just that it's somehow emulated in order to be uh, what we call an hybrid app which will be supported for any kind of mobile app including of course iphones and uh, any android phones um, so in my case what i did is that i really created my project so this project is the one that you know already um, so it is okay so if i do like a cat index.html as you can see it's uh, the copy and paste of a previous video i made uh, showing you how to make an http uh, request so it's in fact it's calling a file which is a php file which is hosted on my local network at the following um, IP address which correspond to the laptop that you have in front of you within this video. So to say this given oops, this given address that I have here, if I just go over here and I copy and paste it here, as you can see, correspond to uh, the end results of what I have over here. And how is it possible? Because it's calling a PHP file that I showed you in a previous video. Okay, so nothing incredible here. It's just uh, for you, it's an HTML page that I will, in fact, uh, emulate in order to be uh, a mobile app, which will be finally called by uh, my app every, every time that the app is uh, loaded. So now we're going to see how I can, in fact, create an app out of this uh, given file. And this is what we have. Um, this is what we have over here. So in fact, in order to uh, make this given file an app, uh, what you need to do is to decide on which platform you would like uh, to push this given uh, this given file. So in my case, I'm going to push it as an Android app. Uh, you can also emulate it within your browser. But in my case, I uh, will just do it like this. So you can run this given line of code in order to say, okay, add the platform Android. Uh, to the project so in my case as it's already uh, on it if i do this it's gonna tell me okay but um yep so it's um I'll do it like this. oh um add platform android so um cordova does not know add so cordova platform android maybe. okay so here it's telling me, okay, but Android is already installed, so you don't need to install it uh, anymore. 
And uh, next, I just need to click uh, to execute the following line in order to create the Android uh, file. So if I run this, okay, it's telling me, okay, uh, good. I created the app. It's now available at this given address. So in fact, if I go, um, oops, not this one. Uh, sorry for that. So if I go like this, if I go on, um, so it's in my project. So if, if I do it this way, so if I go through uh, platforms, platforms, if I go through Android, and if I go through um, its app, and if I go through build, and if I go through output, if I go through APK, okay. And uh, here you see there's a file which is called a app debug dot apk, and this is in fact the executable file in order to um, have um, the app running on your on your smartphone. So now, uh, in fact, what I did is I transferred this given file on my smartphone, and now I can show you in fact my uh, my smartphone. So I can uh, show it to you like like this so here is my my smartphone and on my smartphone oops as you can see my smartphone i have uh, oops like this i have one app which is called alert time over here which has been uh, transferred as i say and if i click on it I'm getting exactly what I want. So in my case, I'm seeing, as you can see, the different alerts which have been uh, fired. And as you can see, I get so my eight alert. Okay, which whoops, sorry, the display is not that great. Oops, different detector. Okay, so here you can see the eight and. Um, in fact, if I move back to my screen, yeps, over here, um, as you can see, I get those eight line, okay, as it is. And if, let's say, I generate another one, so localhost like Notion, so this one, so now it should be the ninth ones. Yep, you see now I have nine alert, and if I move back on on my smartphone. Oops. I will see okay. that I'm getting my uh, ninth alert. And that's everything that I wanted to show you. So uh, just to sum it all, in fact, you get oops, like this. Um, in fact, you get your um, HTML file that you insert uh, within Cordova Apache, then you build the APK file, then you transfer it to your smartphone, and that's it. And now we are starting to have kind of a connected object. So in the next video, I will show you how you can push uh, the data thanks to the IoT object in order to send it to your mobile app in order after that uh, to get notified at some specific point. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.